I love dressing up. I'll have to come again. I really know nothing about it. What I'm gonna see, where I'm gonna sleep. I have my tent, so I can always set up uh, somewhere dry. But it is really going to be an adventure. <laughs> It was totally worthwhile because I found out I needed a permit to visit that natural wonder. First glimpse of the ocean. Get ready for a lot of blue on this Camino. First climb of the trail. This ruta is different than the Camino del Mar. And the climb goes up more stairs. This is not the route I'm doing. Cute sign. The municipal albergue is here and uh, I don't know if it's open or not. Pretty interesting looking. Would you consider this a bridge? Unbelievable. I'm on a not a bridge to win the first dance of the Camino del Ba. Yeah! A small fort locked so I can't go in currently used for municipal art installations. There's been fortifications here since medieval times, but this building dates from the 18th century. Sea breeze blowing with the sun on my face. Oh my gosh. There's a man fishing in the surf down below. Take me back to the ocean. Castro de Grobas. There is an excavation here. Some archeological work. I tried a bit more, see if I could find some more stuff. And all I'm finding is things to scratch up my legs. This is the only thing I can find. <laughs> what a lovely dream. If you fancy a uh, swim, Olga Beach. I'm missing a classic car rally. It's a massive shame. I miss filming that for you folks because they're all dressed up for the festival and it looked like something out of the Great Gatsby with the ladies holding on to their floppy flowered hats. I smelled the horses before I saw them. The Camino tracks I have say stay on the road, but I'm going to detour off when I can. Hello horses again. Now, no one told me I'd have to do some climbing. I found a dead <laughs> snake. I picked it up with a stick and I was gonna video it, and then I caught a whiff. Oh, it's, it smelled so, so awful. Even thinking about it, making puke. So I threw it away into the bushes. You folks don't wanna see dead snakes. You wanna see nice stuff like this, I'm sure. Bushy. I think I walked by another fortification and I didn't even realize it. Once again, use your imagination. My feet are loving this single track. There are a lot of people up there. And I think that's the end. It is one o'clock and I'm heading to that fishing village. I cannot wait to try some seafood. Road again. Such a pretty place. And there's a sign back there saying, come see this. It's an archeology span sign. I'm a little bit afraid I'm gonna fall in. The other info sign, San Pedro Church Festival is also happening here. Strange sculpture to collect plastic bottle caps. The restaurants are all reserved up. The speciality in this town is lobster and rice. Well, I'm splashing out. Now I have mussels and another beer. The two young men serving at this bar were both really fantastic. What fun and wonderful place. to win the bridge dance. A lot of seafood and lobster is caught here.
This is how the villagers catch all those delicious things on the seafood menu. Finally, some ruins that actually make sense to me. Imagine being here and looking out this window. Must be another crustacean capturing operation. Small marshy zone. Well, it's blocked off, so I can't visit. Too bad I just can't swim across. It's totally bizarre to see corn growing beside the ocean. Ah, the good old faded yellow arrow. Another info here about Castro de Marengos. Eat. Great sandy beach. Lots of folks. Why not take a beer by the seaside? This is the 1906 cerveza. No. 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 Only one bathroom that isn't totally terrible to stuff. I drink some beer and water. Continuing onwards. Fountain for fill my water bottle. I love swimming. I just hate salt water. Today is Sunday. I wonder if it's even less crowded over the weekday. And another beach. They should call this. I had enough of the road, but there's a falling risk. Well, I'll just be careful. Yes, yes, I know. Playa? Playa Estero. Waves look pretty violent down there. I'm surprised there's so many people far out. I would like to read the sign, but there's a whole bunch of random snails on it. Down at the beach level. Don't trespass. You have to pay the big money. I don't understand how this place works at all. This is the line to show your permit so you can get onto this beach. I think I'm too early. I'm going to the bar. Living that paper trash life. Sitting on the floor with the outlet. It's one of those beautiful, beautiful scenery out there, but I need a bit of charge. Right on the beach. I really don't know what to make of this place. I'm just walking around, checking it out. I am seeing so many people fall. This huge slide around. This is a uh, mega, mega, mega danger zone. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. But I knew I didn't like that other danger zone. But this is a new danger zone. Remember, I'm carrying a heavy backpack and my shoes and my phone. Do not like. Claustrophobic in here. I'm trying to find a way back. Don't think this is it. I I need to exit this zone, this area. It's freaking me out. Your options are go on mossy slip and slide or back through the tunnel of doom. Well, I survived the tunnel of doom. Did not fall on my butt like I saw a number of other people. Very happy about that. Super happy. I'm on a boardwalk. I am in the camping park because I am tired after today. I set up my tent. I wanted to charge $20, but then I said, I have no car. And he's like, okay, five, five euro discount. So 15 euros. Or some soccer if you want. It's almost 10 o'clock. I have my shower. There's some loud kids shouting, I love you, Canada, when I told them where I was from. I gotta go to bed. 
so excited to be in my family.